Dr. Bell's next work that fits into the theme is something old and something borrowed at the same time. It's borrowed because it's from an Austrian composer. Its theme is a very well-known one from Mozart, a prolific and influential composer of the classical era. He wrote over 600 works, many of which were acknowledged as pinnacles of symphonic, chamber, operatic, and choral music. He is among the most enduringly popular of classical composers. The story continues the plot of the Barber of Seville several, several years later. That was written in 1775. Now, in order to tell you about the plot of The Marriage of Figaro, which was written in 1786, I'd have to tell you about the plot of Rossini's opera, The Barber of Seville. But since I keep you here until 10 o'clock with those stories, I'm going to let them slide. But what we want you to know is that The Marriage of Figaro is a comic opera in four acts, composed in 1786 and premiered on May 1st of that year. This opera is now regarded as a cornerstone of the standard operatic repertoire, and it appears among the top ten on the opera base list of the most performed operas worldwide. The overture itself is so famous that you may know it is that it is often performed as a standalone piece by itself, like we will do right now. From Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, this is the overture to The Marriage of Figaro. Thank you. 